Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on February 11th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. And welcome to another video for Morning Dew. Daily Events Worldwide. Starting out here, looking at our sun at 304 angstroms. Plasma filaments jumping from the bottom right. As well, plasma filament jumping towards Earth. That's right, we had an Earth-facing plasma filament eruption on the northwestern limb there. You can see it under here, that darker region. That is a plasma whip filament eruption. And it was an Earth-facing. And you can see that it was connected magnetically somehow. On a bigger picture, you can really see that it was connected to the southeast region of the sun. So the northeast and the southeast reacted. And you can see these last images where the plasma has shown so. Not much to talk about for space weather. We're still calm. We're expecting coronal hole wind stream tonight. But we do have another coronal hole building, an equatorial coronal hole. Still a very quiet sun when it comes to sunspots. The low number is still the big story with our sun. Checking out here at earthquakes the last 24 hours from around the world. Most recent here in the Dominican Republic, Dominican Republic. It has been going all day with these minor earthquakes two and a highest of 4.4 range. A couple minor rumbles through the San Andreas 4.4 there in Guatemala. Or sorry, El Salvador. Hawaii uh, still shaking minor twos sizable 5.3 here northern Mariana Islands the Marianas Trench as well 5.3 Papua New Guinea large 5.2 here Fiji and as well that deep earthquake 570 kilometer depth Fiji so that was a recent and then we had the 5.3 Marianas Trench. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. We could have a sizable earthquake over the next little while, considering the deep earthquake movement that is happening and the quiet that is happening as well. Looking here, recent earthquakes, South Sandwich Islands as well, 4.8 and a 5.1, and then southwest of Af Africa as well with a 5.0. South America was rocking today too, 5.2 in total, Chile, as well as 4.6 and a 4.1. South American friends, stay aware and prepared. I do believe that there could be some very sizable earthquakes, Central America moving north into San Andreas, as well south into South America. This is my watch zone. Let's just have a look at earthquakes here from the last seven days now. A lot of deep earthquakes being reported over the last seven days, but no large earthquakes. We haven't had a sizable six point earthquake in quite a while. Still very quiet African plate line and into Europe. So stay aware and prepared South America, Central America, and up into the North American plate. We do have Mercury retrograde coming here over the Valentine's holiday and thereafter. So stay aware and prepared. 
And again, I want to welcome all of the new friends and family to the channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an update. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here showing most recent for volcanic eruptions and disasters from around the world. We're going to start out here at Reventador and as well Fuego just recently updated. Still many flood alerts across five states. From Texas up to Ohio and winter storm conditions, northeastern United States and into Canada. And then watch for an extreme weather to start tonight and last for the next two days as this deep Pacific low pressure system moves in. To the Gulf of Mexico and then will form over Texas and move north east through the southeastern United States also checking out here tropical cyclone UC who here the forecast is saying it will not hit the Australian coastline now five-day forecast media worth says the same thing and yesterday, I just wanted to point this out, there might be some reports coming from the Northern Territories of Australia as they had some pretty intense weather, some supercell thunderstorms forming, the sweltering hot day. I'm sure they had some hail and some flash flooding with those large storms that formed. And then watching a specific anomaly happening over the Eastern Atlantic Ocean and Africa. As over the past week or so, there has been a lot of Sahara dust f flowing into the Atlantic Ocean. And then watching this dominant low pressure and high pressure battle going on in the Atlantic Ocean and Europe is feeling the brunt of it all. Now I wanted to give you a different look here at our weather map to give you a different perspective of all of the low pressure systems, high pressure systems affecting us across the world. Start out here in North America, home base, as we're going to have a roller coaster event of temperatures for the next three days. And then we're going to watch a deep, cold, high pressure ridge move in from the north. So over the next few days, above and below freezing throughout Alberta, Northern Alberta, they're already going to be in the minus 20s. Through Edmonton. And then watch for that cold to start sweeping right across North America later in the week. And then another cold high pressure ridge to follow. So we definitely are not anywhere near the end of winter. Here I'm talking and showing I was talking about the high pressure ridge and the all the low pressure systems that are flowing through the Atlantic and United Kingdom and Europe and into Norway and Russia. They're all feeling the brunt of these vigorous and sizable low pressure systems in the Atlantic. I'm telling you guys, I've never seen anything like this. You know, it was this time last year when there were huge low pressure systems in the Antarctic. But now they're happening in the Arctic. It's very interesting indeed. So here, five day forecast showing the coastline of Australia not being affected by Cyclone UC. But definitely going to bring some rain. Does not look like Cyclone UC will be making it to land, which is a good thing because it is a very strong storm. Watching low pressure system develop off of China. Pacific Ocean is very interesting. And thanks again to everybody who joins the live streams. Feel free to come and join the live stream anytime that I am on. I'm always in the live chat section. Come say hi, share your weather stories. I'll probably be going live tonight, so come say hi. Again, stay aware and prepared, all you weather junkies out there.
across southeastern United States and into Canada, Atlantic provinces, heavy rain and heavy snow. West coast, northern BC, Alaska, heavy snow, light snow, and a roller coaster of temps throughout Alberta, and very cold northern China as that large high pressure polar vortex moves in. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and fun. Stay young and have fun, my friends and family. Much love to y'all. See you next time. Come to the live stream tonight. Come say hi. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.